Good afternoon and Happy New Year to you all. The first item of business this afternoon is Time for Reflection. Our Time for Reflection leader today is Chris Gordon, the Community Fundraiser of the Bethany Christian Trust. Presiding Officer, Members of the Scottish Parliament, it's a, a real pleasure to come and speak with you today as uh, the first week in January is traditionally one that's filled with hope. Um, New Year's resolutions are made gym memberships are taken out and uh, the latest fad diet is promoted in the media. And each is undertaken with the longing that our lives will in some sense be better than they were the year before. And it's this promise of hope that drives us as human beings. In my role at Bethany Christian Trust, I have the opportunity to meet with some of the people that use our services. And I'm continually struck by their desperation for change and from listening to them, the fullness of the change that they seek will not necessarily be achieved through material or financial improvements in their lives. They are seeking support and friendship in their community. They are searching for opportunity and purpose in their life. Jesus brought this hope to first century Palestine. In drawing widows and children towards him, he radically changed society to include the most vulnerable and marginalized. Jesus began to model a society free from man-made social barriers, where, one where those on the fringes could have a future as part of a community. This promise that Jesus brought was not a temporary fix that would bring material gain, but rather a lifelong and indeed an eternal transformation in people's lives. When a person encountered Jesus in the gospel stories, their life became radically different, with the Apostle Paul perhaps the best known example of this. And at Bethany, in our work, we see changes in people too. Families flourish when they are supported through challenging times, and individuals fulfill their potential when they are given space and opportunity. And we are witnessing communities becoming strengthened as people support one another. Of course, creating community is no easy feat. It requires time and patience. Re results might not be seen within a month or a year. And above all, it's necessary to listen. For it is in listening that we have the opportunity to truly engage with someone and understand the challenges that they are facing. So this year, my resolution will be to keep my running shoes under the bed and instead to be intentional in my listening. Then perhaps I can play my own small part in supporting those in my own community who are hoping that 2016 will be better than the year before. Thank you and a happy new year. Thank you. We have